Hi, my name is Sue and I'm from TranquilTeaHouseTherapies.com and today we're going to make an insect repellent. Now, according to the flying insects, my husband is really tasty and he used to get bitten a lot. Um, and because he has a bad reaction to the um, insect bites, they would be, it would turn very painful um, and it would get very red and very angry. But since he's been using uh, this spray, he's had far fewer bites. And I've also made this same blend um, for um, clients of mine that have been going away on holiday and they've had some really good results too. So I've got here in this little, um, little um, flask, I've got eight mils of um, solubilizer. Um, solubilizer, it's made from uh, sugar cane. Um, and the reason that we use a solubilizer is because oils and water, this, this spray is a water-based spray, oil and water, they, they don't mix. So by using a solubilizer, the oil um, disperses into the solubilizer and then the solubilizer disperses into the water. So it blends so much better that way. Now, in, first of all, we're going to add citronella, which is um, quite a well-known insect repellent. Um, it's got a very lemony, herby fragrance, and we're going to add five drops of that to the solubilizer. Okay. Next up, we're going to use eucalyptus lemon. Now, we only need one drop of this, but you have to be careful because eucalyptus, there are very, there's quite a few different um, types of eucalyptus and they each have a different therapeutic um, benefit. So you need to make sure that you're getting the right one and you're using it for the right reasons. Now, lemongrass is um, another essential oil that's got good insect repelling properties and we're gonna add five drops of that. we go. Okay, now the good all-rounder that's so, so useful is lavender. And as we know, it's so beneficial to the skin. But again, it has insect repelling properties. Um, we, we need two drops of lavender. Now, I quite surprised that this has got insect repelling properties because you always see bees around the lavender plants. They love lavender, but as you know, um, unless bees are threatened, you know, they don't generally sting. Um, lastly, the last oil that we're going to add here is one drop of cedar wood. There we go. And now all we need to do is just mix these together so that they are blended into the solubilizer. And I'm gonna leave it just for a few moments just to give it the opportunity to the oils, the opportunity to disperse into the solubilizer before I add the water. So you want to make sure that it's nicely blended in and dispersed. Okay, I think that's nicely blended in there. Now it's time to add some purified water. Now the bottle that I've got here is um, 50 mils. So I need to slowly add 50 mils of water to my blend up to the 50 mil mark. There we go. And again, gonna give it a gentle stir so that it all blends in nicely. At the moment, it's a little bit cloudy, but once it's all um, blended in nicely um, and properly, it will clear. And it's, begin it's beginning to clear already, look at that. There we go. Okay. So, pop that in my bottle. Okay. Leaving a little gap at the top because whenever you put um, these sprays in, they, it does tend to, um, obviously takes up a little bit of space in the bottle and it, Sometimes it can overflow, but there you are. All nicely ready for me to now put a label on and I make sure I put the date on it so that I know when this blend was made. Now, my husband will apply this generally 
to um, particularly to his ankles because that's where he gets bitten. So when he gets up in the morning, he'll put a couple of squirts on his ankles, around his, uh, you know, around the sock area, um, and usually he finds that that's, that's okay. But if he's going to be going outside, mowing the lawn, doing something like that, then he'll apply some more because. Those insects, they find him really tasty. And if he remembers to put his insect repellent on, then he's not bothered by them. So there you are, one bottle of insect repellent.